Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and today we are going through my January TBR. Now for January, I mean first off, Happy New Year. It is January, it is 2021. Fingers crossed it is a heck of a better year than last year. But we are starting off this year strong with a very big TBR. So I am taking part in the Among Us Readathon this month and I will link down below the Twitter for the page. I'm excited. So the Readathon is as usual, a readathon, but you can either choose to be an imposter or a crewmate and there are a shed ton of prompts for everything. Um, if you go to their Twitter, it links it all as well in their like main thread, I think. But I have given myself, <laughs> I have set the bar really high to start January and I have chosen to be an imposter. So what you need to do is you need to do one of the main tasks, so a starter task, and you can either do a swipe card, which is read a standalone, or fix wiring, which is read a sequel. I personally am going to be doing the swipe card one um, because I'm gonna read a standalone. I don't have any sequels in the works at the minute. Like a lot of the books that I'm reading for this month are starter books I suppose like the first book in a series but the other issue is that the way this readathon works is before you start any other books you have to read your starter book so I think I have one one sequel uh but it's chunky so I didn't want to read that first so I have chosen to do standalone but before we get into all of the books I just want to show you my spread that I made because I'm quite impressed with it, like, if I'm honest. So I have done this spread for all of the different coloured prompts, so all the different coloured crewmates, and then I have done just this other spread with the starter tasks and the other required tasks as well, and my little orange imposter because orange is my favourite colour, so I was going to be the orange one. So if you are an imposter like me, then what you have to do is the starter task. You have two required tasks, so there are three tasks that you have to do, and then in order to win the game, you have to kill nine crewmates. So there are 12. I have got all 12 colours there. I have got all 12 prompts here. This is a heck of a list. But my plan is to obviously do the starter option, the two required tasks, and then I'm just going to kind of mood read hopefully nine of the books that are on this list. And not all of them are chunky. Some of them are just 300 odd-ish pages, between 300 and 400. So, you know, there's that. But let's get into the TBR anyways. So my first book is obviously going to be Swipe a Card, so you have to read a standalone. And for that, I'm going to be reading Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Basherdoust. I hope I'm saying that right. This is one of my subscription box books that I got last year. And if you have watched any of my videos <laughs> recently, I have been saying that I want to keep on top of my um, subscription card books for 2021. So I am still trying to work my way through my backlog. That is this shelf that has not yet moved. So in this book, we are following the main character, Soria, and she is a princess, but she is hidden away because she is cursed. And she is cursed in a way that she has poison running through her veins. And anyone she touches dies so any person any live any, any creature anything she touches but she can garden which is quite interesting but yeah this sounds amazing i'm really hoping i like it and it isn't that big a book it's like 311 pages so i'm hoping i can get through this rather quickly and yeah i'll let you know my wrap up how i find this one Moving on to my required tasks. The first required task is vent sneak attack, which means read a book that you think will surprise you. And for that prompt, I've got The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, I don't know anything about this book. All I know is that I hear so many good things. One of my mates who I buddy read books with on Twitter, she loves this book. She has recommended it. She loves Erin Morgenstein. I've had this on my shelf for like almost a year now. <laughs> I just need to read it. So this is going to be one that I think will surprise me. I'm hoping it does. <laughs> Again, not a massive book, so hopefully I'll actually be able to get through it in a decent amount of time. And then my second required task is blame someone else. So the prompt for that is read a book with a morally grey character. And of course, I'm going to be reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. If you have been around since last year, you will know that I started this for something. A read one readathon or another. And then 
did not finish it so i've taken the bookmark out and i'm starting it again this month with the hope that i can actually get through it so in this book we are following mia corvair and she is off to join the red church which is like an assassin school so she sounds pretty morally grey if i'm honest so i will be reading this this month hopefully so of those three prompts they are three of the ones that i actually have to read this month so hopefully i'll get to them uh i'm gonna try and prioritize them first but we shall see and now the prompts that i'm gonna move on to are the different colored crewmates that you get to kill again i'm only planning to read nine of these but i'm gonna give you the full list of 12 because i have assigned a book for every single one and then i'm just gonna mood read between them I do have preferences for ones I actually want to read, but we'll see how we go this month. So the first crewmate is the red crewmate, and for this, the prompt is Clear Asteroids, Read a Sci-Fi. And for that prompt, I have chosen The Space Between Worlds by Mikaya Johnson. And this book, I so want to get to. I'm so excited for this book. It sounds amazing. I have probably said the blurb for this like a couple of times. I know I featured it in like one of my books books i wish i'd got to that last year in 2020 but if you haven't seen that so in this book we are following our main character kara and this is set in a world where scientists have discovered that you can travel between realities as long as you are dead in them and kara is alive in only eight so she is dead in all of the other ones and I think that's amazing. So when one of Kara's doppelgangers mysteriously dies, she is thrown into a new world full of old secrets. And you know what? This book sounds amazing and I can't wait to read it. Again, not a chunker. So this is the winner for me. Can't wait for that one. So the next crewmate is the purple crewmate and the prompt I picked was Divert Power Part 1. And for that, I need to read a book by an author of colour. And for that, I have picked Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. Now I've had this on my shelf for I don't even know how long so I want to get to it but again I don't really know an awful lot about it the back says they killed my mother they took our magic they tried to bury us now we rise that sounds pretty cool I still have the receipt in here for when I bought this book but yeah this just this sounded really good and I want to get to it I also have the sequel on my shelf like I can't point there if you can actually make it out so i need to get to this please know that i plan to have better descriptions of these books come the end of january in the wrap-up so stick around until the end of january if you want to know more about these books but like always the links for all of the books are down in the description because i'm well aware that my descriptions are absolutely rubbish so the next one is the navy crewmate and i have chosen to clean the o2 filters and that is read a book with a breathtaking cover and for that i have picked daughter of smoke and bone by alani taylor and also it's kind of this is navy so it matches this is the illuminate special edition i have done a full unboxing for this which i will link up above in case you have missed that that was quite a cool video the box was quite cool if I do say so myself, but this is the one that I want to read for breathtaking cover. I have got the sequels coming. I think they're coming in May. I can't wait. So we are following our main character, Karu, and she is half human, half, I want to say demon, but I don't know if that's true. And she collects teeth for this demon called Brimstone. And she lives kind of half in the human world and half in the demon world. And something happens where she has to choose between those two worlds. Hopefully I'll find out this month if that's actually right. But that is what I've picked for that prompt. For the Scion crewmate, the colours of these crewmates are blinking cool. So for the Scion crewmate, I've chosen a line engine output, read a book over 500 pages. And for that, I've chosen the chunk of that is Dragon Republic by RF Guang. This is huge. This is the sequel to The Poppy War. I read that last year. I really, really enjoyed it. I did start reading this last year. I am yet to finish it. So we are going to be reading it this month. Hopefully, huh. this is like over 600 pages. I wanted to set myself a challenge, I've done it. So in the first book, we're following Rin, who is our main character and she is like down on her luck and she decides to take this massive test thing that if you pass, you get into all of the different schools within the country and she manages to get into the top military school which is like unbelievable and unfortunately when she gets there she is discriminated against because her skin is darker than the other people's she's more common than the other people no one really thinks that she should actually be there um this book is like heart-wrenching it's set 
in like wartime check triggers before you read that but i highly recommend poppy war i loved it so i cannot wait to finally get to dragon republic and finish this and then i can finally get to burning god because i am like two months behind now because it's been released and i want to know and i don't want to get spoiled the next crewmate color is brown and for that i have chosen stabilized steering which is read a book that has been on your tbr for the longest time <sighs> And for that, I have picked City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now, if you have seen my resolutions video, which I will link up here, I have mentioned that I want to read all of Cassandra Clare's backlog this year. That is my plan. So I can actually catch up and read Chain of Gold. Chain of Iron comes out this year. I want to read them. So we are going to be starting in January with the first book. And I'm hoping that I... Oh. So that is from when I last read it. I'm hoping to actually get through this this month and then just crack on with the rest of the series. I'm not too sure how many readathons I'll be taking part in this year, but hopefully I can actually do some binge reading of this whole series and just get through it. So in this book we follow Clary Frey and she suddenly starts seeing like vampires and demons around New York. It's not until she bumps into a shadow hunter that that world kind of starts getting explained to her and they kind of start to understand why she suddenly developed this site. That's probably the worst description in the world of this book, but you know, I haven't read it for the longest time. Can't wait to get back into it. <laughs> and then for the orange crewmate, which is like the counterpart to my imposter, the prompt is upload data part one. And for that, the prompt is read a book that features LGBTQIA plus rep. And for that, I have got The Never Tilting World. I started this in September. Once again, I've taken the bookmark out and we're gonna start it again because we can. Where this book is set, the world is ruled by twin goddesses. And unfortunately, one day, one of the goddesses betrays her sister. And this book we're following their daughters as they try and come back together to save the world but they don't know about each other. I just really like what it says on the back which is a demoness is what they call a goddess that men cannot control. Pretty true. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this and I know it's got LGBTQIA plus rep in it because when I started it I did notice that at the start there is a uh, female female romance and... I'm looking forward to actually reading this. The sequel to this did come out last year. And if I like this, I want to get the sequel. Read that through. I quite like Rin Chepeka's writing. She's pretty good. And I also need to read The Bone Witch, which she's also written. But we digress. So the next crewmate colour is pink. And for that, the prompt is Prime Shield. Read a book with a weapon on the cover. And for that, I have chosen Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Now, this is another book that I mentioned in the books that I wish I'd read in 2020. I've explained it all in there. This sounds really good. <laughs> but I don't know an awful lot about it. So literally the back just says, the gate will fall, you know this time by the rise of two human queens, one of blood and one of light, two queens will rise, they will carry the power of the seven and they will carry your fate in their hands. All I know about this book is that it's, follow we're following two queens centuries apart and I thought that was quite cool. And I need to read this so that I can actually get the second one in hardback to match because they're not going to sell that forever. But yeah hoping to read this this month. The next crewmate colour is green and for that the prompt is fuel your engines which means read your most recent purchase. Now if you've seen my recent haul video, I'll link it up here, um, there have been quite a few recent purchases but the one that I wanted to get to that fit this prompt was Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So in this book we're following our main character Spencer and she has always wanted to be a pilot and it's never really been an option but when the creatures that are attacking the world, which are now called Krell, I believe, yes, an alien race called the Krell um, starts attacking Earth more, she finally gets the chance to become a pilot. And I'm really excited to read this. No, this is not the start with Miss Born, where everyone seems to say to start reading Brandon Sanderson's books. But I think this one will be the best one for me to start with. One, because I own it. And two, because it's the one that sounds the most interesting to me right now. I do have Miss Bourne on my list of books to get though. So keep an eye out for a haul in the coming months. For the next prompt, it is the Yellow Crewmate. And the prompt says, Dive Up Power, read a book by a new to you author. And for that, I'm reading Master of Sorrows by Justin Call, again featured in my haul video. This book sounds incredible. I don't know an awful lot about it. Same with pretty much every book on this list. But in this book, our main character wants to join these like assassins no avatars he wants to become an avatar which is a skilled warrior that go around kind of collecting magic and trying to keep it from other people that's the vibe i get from this book whether that's correct or not i don't know but 
It does say, of the academy's many students, only the most skilled become avatars, warrior thieves are capable of infiltrating the most heavily guarded vaults, and only the most determined are trusted to resist the lure of magic. More than anything, Aniv de Breath wants to become one of them. And I have had this on my list for months. Like it was on my Amazon wish list, and then I saw it in Warstones, and I wanted it, and it's also a floppy baby bag. So how can we say no? Three more left, guys very close to the end. So the next crewmate is the white crewmate and the prompt for this is chart a course, read a book that features a map and for that I have chosen The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin which is the second book in the Broken Earth trilogy. I read the fifth season in November I want to say and I loved it so I can't wait to read this. I am bloody reading this with my friend on Twitter so I'm finally getting around to reading it even though we said we were going to start it like December. Didn't get to it, I'm sorry but we will get to it this month. I can't really tell you a lot about this because it is a sequel but in the first book we're following three perspectives and it's just such a good adult fantasy. Like such a good adult fantasy and I can't wait to see what the next one is and then I can't wait to see how the whole series concludes. For the Lime Crewmate the prompt is submit scan read a book that you see yourself in comfort read and or represents you so for this prompt i have picked the cousins by karen m mcmanus now for me this is going to be a comfort read because i love karen m mcmanus's books she is one of my auto buy authors i cannot wait to get to this i got this in my Illumicrate. um so the back of this says the story family are the envy of their neighbors rich beautiful and glamorous until it all falls apart the four children are suddenly dropped by their mother with a single sentence you know what you did and they never hear from her again. Years later when cousins Aubrey, Millie and Jonah Story receive a mysterious invitation to spend the summer at their grandmother's resort they have no choice but to follow their curiosity and meet the woman who's been such an enigma their entire lives. The teenagers are determined to discover the truth and some secrets are better left alone. This also counts as a comfort read for me because I love like YA thrillery mystery kind of books. I think they're great. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And then the final prompt is for the Black Crewmate and the prompt is Fuel Engines Part 3, read a book set in the past. And for that, I have chosen The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turnton. This is set in like 1693. This is a mystery. There is possible like supernatural elements in it. I'm so looking forward to getting into it. I cannot wait. This looks incredible. And I will let you know what I think on my wrap up or my weekly reading vlogs which I plan to bring back every week now. So that is my entire TBR for January. Oh my goodness it is huge. But like I said I only need to read the starter prompt, the two required prompts and then nine of the crewmates to have essentially killed off everyone and to win the game so that is my plan i cannot wait i'm super excited check out their twitter down below it is super fun like i'm so excited to take part in it they have thought of everything in my opinion i have some incredible books on my list to read this month and you know what i'm hoping to get to 12 books this month <laughs> fingers crossed which means three books a week can we do it fingers crossed maybe we'll like intersperse some of our chunky books with some of our 300 odd page books but we'll find out but that is everything from me today please give this video a like if you enjoyed it it really supports me and my channel give me a comment down below have you got a january tbr what are you reading at the start of this year let's make 2021 the best have you set your reading goals let me know down below and please consider subscribing to me down below if you want to see how well i do this month i am planning on doing a weekly reading vlog every single week so you can see how i feel throughout every single week but that is everything from me today i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you soon in the next video bye